Here we go. Here we go. Get hyped. Get hyped. It's a half hour countdown. All right, well, I'm going to go do something else for the next half hour then. One minute remaining. I'm just realizing you can't see this, but I put some Elden Ring, like, ambient stuff, like, just some, some things in the background, and I'm realizing that it's too bright and you can't see it, but it's too late to change it. Whatever. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is my favorite game of all time, and now we're getting DLC for it. I mean, we've known we've been getting DLC for it for a year now but we're finally actually getting the dlc and a release date oh it's happening it doesn't feel real honestly i wish that worked but whatever the tv's new anyway so here we go here we go one second <gasps> peggy 16 y'all this is not real I, yep, uh-huh, yeah. Pure I, and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. I'm going to talk about this, but let me just shut up and watch it. Mikola. terrifying. <laughs> <gasps> oh! It's the... Is this like the the dark world that that was leaked? Everyone was referencing. Oh my god, it is! It's the <laughs> Nicholas Great Room in that forsaken place. This is kind of loud. Blood must spill. Who's that? Blood of your fellows. Who's that? They are truly faithful. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, oh, more fire! <laughs> They'll never sink. Look at that. To be on the losing side of a war. That looks like a Liza P boss. What is that thing? No. Wait, is that? Oh, wait. Whoa, that's that's actually terrifying. That's actually really scary. What? <laughs> it looks Mother. like. Wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so Who is this? I feel like I should know. Oh. Oh. oh, that's beautiful. Whoa. That's a massive pot. That's gorgeous. I was hoping for some beautiful new areas and 100% work. Oh, that's disgusting. Those stripped of the grace of God. What is that? Is this Mikola? Is the Is this Mikola? I don't know. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Release date, release date, release date. When, 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 when. Give us a release date. Give us a release date. <gasps> no, that's Mikola. Okay, I don't know what I'm thinking. He's healing the earth tree. When, when, when? June 21st. Okay, okay. They're making us wait for it. They're making us wait for it. That's a long time to wait. But I don't care. I'll wait as long as I need to. <laughs> okay, I need to go through this like frame by frame. Let me just refresh. Okay, all right. Let's go through this. I want to see everything we have. Because we got a name for the... First of all, let me just pull up the name for, for that guy. This dude looks important. What's his name? I, I saw it for like a split second. This looks unbelievably cool. Okay. Mesmer the Impaler. 
So this is going to be the millennia of this expansion with a voucher code and official soundtrack. <laughs> All right. Hardcover art book. That's pretty cool. Comes in a box. Dude, this looks amazing. He seems to be related to Rikard in some capacity just because of the snake thing. I don't know if that's any indication of that he will be, but anyway, okay. All right, let's go through this. So the entrance to the DLC, as everyone has speculated, basically 16. since the game came out, the entrance to the DLC is pretty obviously Mikola in the egg in Mogwin Palace. And they finally confirmed that. Pure and radiant. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. Assuming they're talking about Mikola. There is nothing more terrifying. Pure and radiant, he uses love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. That, that line, <laughs> that line is, that goes so hard. That goes so hard, bro. <laughs> It seems like, you know, someone who uses love, you know, would be loving. And then they hit you with the, there is nothing more terrifying. It's like, oh, oh. All right. Anyway. There is nothing more terrifying. I'm going to try to listen to the story parts of this, too. Okay. So this is what we saw kind of in the first, well, the only teaser image that was released where you had the, obviously the earth tree that's like split in half or whatever, and it's like bleeding the gold sap. Uh, I don't think, I don't recognize this locale. I know everyone kind of like speculated, at least from the leaks. I think there was some sort of leak that there was going to be like a dark world version of the lands between where it was kind of like a a different world kind of thing and this could be that this looks like that i think this is in the past as far as we know though that's kind of what it was speculated to be also i don't know i'm not going to make any stupid claims i'm not someone who dives deep into the lore i have a very surface level understanding of all the story and everything but we see here these are the like phantom gravestones that were in that uh release image the announcement image so we got that. We have what looks like, I don't know, this is possibly stuff we've seen before, but it's from an angle and with a weird time of day that I can't quite tell. This stuff here looks like cloth. It looks like curtains, kind of in the same way that the, the chamber is. Okay, so here we have uh, more of this. This looks like a map stone, does it not? Uh, I don't know what any of this is. This looks like it would be Kaelid. But I'm assuming it's going to be an entirely different map, because I don't think they'd have us explore the same map, but make it Dark world E. I I think it's going to be completely different. And from what I'm seeing here, yeah, this is a lot different. There's a lot more of these pine trees. Did the original game have pine trees? I don't think the base game even had pine trees, really. Maybe it did in, like, the Weeping Peninsula? I'm trying to think. But this looks really cool. It almost seems like... Let me go a few frames ahead. Yeah, it seems like the Ur tree is dipping its, like, whatever gold blood thingy into this. So it seems like this is going to be, like, the Landell of this DLC. This almost seems like an entirely new game. This is wild. This is insane. We got a nice little bridge here. We got some cities. This is a Beautiful waterfall. Some lush forests over here. This looks like death blight. That's kind of scary. Uh Ur tree. Again, there's these these drapes coming down. Very much like the it's very similar to the Queen's bedchamber, how these drapes are. If these are even yeah, no, these are that's cloth. Very similar to this. So I wonder what the parallels will be there. Anyway, back to this. Obviously we have our tarnished hero upon torrent. Nothing new to see there. This looks gorgeous. I love FromSoft's art direction above anything else, and they are continuing to knock it out of the park with this. 
there's just, there's so much to look at. There's so many points of interest. I want to go here. I want to check out this bridge. I want to look at the waterfall. I want to look at whatever this is. I want to go look at whatever that is. I want to go check out that place over there. There's so much to look at. And then we get some sort of great rune. This looks like Mikola's great rune. We're closer now to the messed up Erd tree with this dripping gold blood thingy. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Of your fellows. Blood of your fellows? Blood must spill. Know what he said? Blood of your fellows. Yeah. They are true. Blood of your fellows. Okay, anyway. Place. Let me... This looks beautiful. FromSoft does not have enough purple stuff. They need more purple stuff. And I'm seeing a lot of purple and blue in this trailer, and that's gorgeous. The, like, these flowers and stuff. Noxtella and Nokrin and, like, that whole area that's all purple, that is probably the most beautiful area in the game. That and, I would say, um, the Halic Tree. I love the, the like, art design of the Halic, the Halic Tree as well. Blood must spill. That's gorgeous. Okay, we have a little... Um, I don't think this is who's talking. I think who's talking is uh, Mesmer. But this is some Love unknown character. This looks like some sort of queen of something. Not sure what exactly. This was the first shot of the trailer that got me super, super hyped. This looks incredible. This is like a another poison swamp area. We're going to get some other poison swamp. Oh, nice. It's the, it's, um, what's it called? Lyernia up there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is another poison swamp area. This looks like it might be a legacy dungeon, possibly. Faithful. This dude, this is the guy that we see like pulling a sword out of his head later on in the trailer. And this looks like Fia. The hair's a little bit different. I don't know. She's got very similar clothes to Fia. And it looks like she's pregnant. Is this... Okay, there was something in here about mother. Are these... Is this... Um, uh, I, no. Is this like... These, are these people we know? These might be people we know. I don't know enough about the lore. But this feels like... Mikkel and Melania's parents, possibly. I could be, I could be very off on that it's someone's parents and there's some line in this trailer about mother i'll have to listen to that this looks amazing this is another cavern this is like i hope all these pots come alive i hope there's more alexander even though he died in the main campaign spoilers but whatever i say campaign like it's a call of duty game let me listen to what was the what was that last line of the the blood should be spilled thing or whatever of your fellows what of your fellows what what is your fellows? The art tree faithful. Our tree unfold. Oh, there's there's captions. What am I doing? <laughs> I can just play the captions. <laughs> the Erd tree faithful. It's too it it's too dense in the mix to for me to make out exactly what that part was. Maybe some people caught it, but I don't know. I didn't get it for in a second. Forsaken place. Blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. The blood of your fellows. The Earth Tree Faithful. The Earth Tree Faithful. It did. It did not sound like that. Even having that. Okay. Some more. I'm just. I'm seeing these changes. You know. I'm gonna turn this off. It's doing more harm than good. It's just annoying. All right. Anyway, it's not dark enough to. I, I can lower the brightness or whatever. The Earth Tree Faithful. We have this beautiful little jar area. This, I, I so hope we have a fire dungeon that's in this like really intricate temple or something because I loved Volcano Manor, but it felt too open for me. I really hope this is like a darker, more closely tight knitly designed, that's not even a word, fire dungeon. Because I saw the one shot of the Elden Ring trailer that had, I think it was like the spinny thing that goes like, Shh, and like it rotates and it goes up and down the ramps i saw that and i thought that was going to be a fire dungeon and then i was a little bit disappointed when we got volcano manor I, I still love volcano manor but i was expecting a more close tight corridor linear design thing i don't know something about like 
a fire dungeon like that really really sells me anyway this is 100 percent a legacy dungeon this looks almost like i mean okay this is close to the ur tree here the messed up ur tree the shadow ur tree uh this looks like Faramazula before it became crumbled Th is this are we in the past and we're exploring original fair missoula that could be amazing and then we have like look this looks like death blight that's kind of coming through and it's starting to crumble and it's starting to float up into the sky this might be fair missoula just my thoughts just my my uh original saints. thoughts they were never saying then we get this like th okay this reminded me of like the parade master from liza p they were never saints they just happened to be on the losing side of a war this guy looks really interesting. I love all the new boss designs they showed in this trailer. They look amazing. I was not worried, but I was a little bit kind of wary of how the boss fights were going to go in here. I don't know why, but I just had like a little bit of a feeling that the boss fights weren't going to be as cool. But I don't know why I doubted that. It was just sort of my mind telling me that they're going to suck even though I knew they weren't because it's a FromSoft game. More importantly, it's a FromSoft DLC, and they have never missed with a DLC. Then we have these, like, snake bros, but they suck your whole head off, which is quite disturbing. That's an interesting-looking enemy. Dude, I love... I hope there's something with this moon. I hope there is something to do with the moon, because the moon has had that weird little, like, ring rune shape on it. And there's no, oh look, there's more of this like curtain thing that leads up to the Ur tree. Then we get this guy. This guy looks legitimately terrifying. This looks like a cross between Margit and Vicar Amelia with the dude. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> this is like where the wild things are. Nightmare fuel. What is this? This is legitimately scary. Look at these rows of teeth. It's got. Ew! It's got human teeth and beast teeth with, like... Okay. This has to be some sort of omen creature because it looks very... Like, these are Moog horns, and it looks very similar to Margit. This is some sort of transformation of Margit or Moog. Why did I say it like that? Moog? Margit or Moog? Or, like, a banished brother of theirs or something? who became a beast and was banished to the Shadow Realm. Hey, that's not bad. The Shadow Realm. Imagine it's called the Shadow Realm. But this thing looks so scary. 100% this is related to Moog and... Oh! That's so scary, bro! That's actually terrifying. 100% that's related to Moog and uh, Margit. Or Morgoth. And, it, and it's got lightning attacks, too. That's ridiculous. They were never saints, they were just on the losing side of the war. I'm so hyped for what all this means. And then we got our first shot of, uh, what's his name? I already forgot his name. Something with a me mess, messy. Mother. Mother, wouldst thou truly wouldst lordship thou sanction? Truly lordship sanction in one soul. Is he talking about the tarnished? What's that truly lordship sanctioned in one so bereft of light? So it's like, would you really give lordship to someone without light, like the tarnished? Is that that's basically what he's asking for people who don't get like the old English speak, whatever. <laughs> but, but he looks amazing. His design is so cool. Hundred percent, he's going to be the millennia of this DLC. He's going to be so difficult. He's got the spear. He's got the snake thingy going on. He's got these wings. I don't know how he's going to fit in with the lore, but this looks like a cross between Death Blight and the, um, like the Black Flame, but like a red version of it. Very strange. Of light. But his hair is red. His hair is red and his name starts with an M, so he's 100% a main character. Like one of the main demigods. We get these new enemies. These guys look sick. He's like, okay, why why are we buffering when I'm trying to skip by frames? Whatever. Then we get our our so first look at some new enemies here. What 
are these? Are these horns? It happens too quickly, it's hard to tell. Anyway, that's really cool. We get more phantom thingies. Okay, that's... This, another purple slash pink shot. Yes, this is beautiful. We need more of this in these kinds of games. This is incredible. Unbelievably cool. Then we have like a lane down night kind of thing here. More melee attacks. Like kick... Uh, Kick-based melee attack? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to look at this. Go back, go back. Oh, look at that tree with the... Uh, this seems like a Lane Dell type place based on this architecture. And we're pretty close to the Shadow Earth tree here from what I can see. Dude, look at that. Is, are these like Commander Niles, um, his boots and stuff? It doesn't look like there's... I can't tell. Is there something on the feet there? Also, she looks like blue um, Roderica. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's... It's hard to tell if there's anything on the feet. It's happening too quickly. Anyway, we get another shot of what looks like the Landale area. This, like, Eye of Sauron thing where the, the golden drip is dripping into. Massive pot. Throwing the massive pot at some enemies. This sick looking new crossbow. At least I'm assuming it's new. I didn't mess with crossbows that much in the game, but like, look at this. Is this gonna be is this gonna be like a Gale rapid fire crossbow? Like that could be so cool. Look at this forest too. This forest looks amazing. The colors look very different from Limgrave. It's a darker, richer green as opposed to Limgrave's lighter, sort of uh more happier green. I love this. Look at the look at the god rays coming through the light. Coming through the it is light. What am I talking about? Look at the god rays coming through the trees. This looks like a very densely packed forest. I am a massive fan of densely packed forest. Okay, it is. I I forgot about that in the trailer, but yes, it is a, a massive rapid fire crossbow. Just and we get like dragon attacks, but with a beast. I presume you too are keen to know just what kind Mikola is doing here. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> just what kind Mikola is doing. This. I have no words. They have snapped with this art direction. This is unbelievably amazing. Then we get. Is this going to be. A, is, now, is this a boss? This looks like an, like an arena for a boss, separate from the rest of the world, kind of like Radon's arena is, where it's kind of in its own little pocket of reality. Or um, uh, Renala's arena, where the full moon is up and everything, and you're on the water. This looks like it's kind of out of the pocket of reality in a separate arena. I could be wrong. This could be just uh, an enemy, and that would be a little bit disappointing. But this looks really sick. Actually, it, it, I mean, it's a small character with two swords. I don't think that's going to be a boss, actually. This is 100% a boss, though. This is like Gyobu Masatako Niwa type boss. Guy on mount with thing. So is this, this is going to be, like, instead of a tree sentinel, this is like a dark tree uh, guy riding a boar, King Bulbin and Lord Bulbo type deal with purple lightning again again the purple the purples and the pinks are masterful in this this looks like you know those hands in dark souls 3 like the weird funky looking ones down in the profane capital that's what this looks like this is disgusting this creature this is the average british person look at those teeth good lord that's gross ew that is a massive, and it's got, it, it has Elden Stars. It has Elden Stars. This is gross. This looks like, okay, this is a, this is a sick looking boss. This is 100% one of those arenas, like where you fight the ancestor spirit, except purple. I'm 100% on board for that. Is this, is this skeleton Radon? What is he doing? He's, bro, he's riding his little horse. His horse is struggling. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This this has to be the same guy that we saw in the photo earlier, right? Those stripped of the grace of gold 
shall all meet death. Oh my goodness, why are we buffering? Excuse me? Okay. I presume you want to know just what kind Mikola's doing here or something to that effect. So it looks like we're gonna, kind of in the way that, you know, in the main game you could always see the Earth Tree and its branches extending over everything. This looks like we're always gonna see these draperies of the Shadow Earth Tree extending over everything. That's really cool. He has like an Elden Star's attack, we got the Skeleton Bro. This... Oh my god, it's his rib cage. Oh, he's pulling out his rib cage as a sword. Those stripped of the grace of blood show all meet death. We got some more fight with Mesmer here. In the embrace, shall meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. <laughs> he looks so sick. Look at the. I love the snake imagery. This is a very volcano manor type area, so I wonder how that'll turn out. That's an interesting shield. Is that a shield that doubles as a twin blade? May we meet again. A little preview of the fight with Mesmer, kind of like we got with Melania in the first Elden Ring trailer. And then we see Mikola. He's over here. He's healing the Erd Tree. What it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is healing the Erd Tree. Look, because you can see the branches turning white and they're starting to spread out. Okay, this has to be the past then. The past or a very distant future. I don't know how this will turn out. That'll be really interesting. And then we get this sick art. This looks amazing. Yeah, this is not just a Dark World version of The Lands Between. This is an entirely new map. I hope it's just as big as The Lands Between. Even if it's just as big as Limgrave, that's already massive. Dude, this DLC is going to be huge. June 21st. It's a long ways away, but I will suffer through it that's four months i can take it i can take it hey it's two days after my son's birthday that's fun uh okay what was this what was this last bit of text those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of mesmer's flame come now touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow yes okay all right so that straight up confirms that we're going to mboguin palace touching Mikola's arm and then going to the Realm of Shadow. Now, is that what this is going to be called? Is it going to be called the Realm of Shadow? The Shadow Realm? Maybe I wasn't so off with my, <laughs> my prediction there. Bro, you touch Mikola, he sends you to the Shadow Realm. I will, not be far behind. I, will not be, I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Who is talking here? So that, that's obviously Mesmer talking. Come now. I want to say that that's Melina, but I could be wrong. I want to say it's Melina, but something about her voice sounds too deep. It could just be her speaking in a soft tone. I don't know, but that's that's incredible. Wow. I will not be far behind. That shield May looks sick. Again. Because Melina has a little bit of a brighter timbre to her voice, and that has kind of a darker... Is is that... It also doesn't feel like Ronnie, because Ronnie... Ronnie's voice is a little bit more kind of raspy, in a way. And it, it's... I don't know. I don't know who that is, honestly. Wow. That's incredible. This shot is gorgeous, too. It's everything I dreamed it'd be. It's legit everything I dreamed it would be. <laughs> this dude, Mesmer looks so cool. Mesmer the Impaler. I wonder if that'll be his actual name in the game. Cause wasn't wasn't the pre-order for Melania, wasn't she called like like Valkyrie or something? It was put like statue of something like Valkyrie. I, I don't quite remember. I could be wrong. But I wonder if his name, like his boss name will be Mesmer the Impaler. 
or if it'll be something else. He'll probably have a second phase and it'll be like Mesmer God of Rot or something like that. He's going to pull out like Flame Rot out of nowhere, but that could be so sick. There's a lot of snake imagery in this. Well, like in the trailer, there's like the snake guy that eats you. Mesmer especially, there's a lot of snake imagery. He's somehow related to Rykard. That's my prediction. I don't know how, but he's going to be somehow related to Rykard. I don't know how this is going to fit in with the story. I'm so intrigued. All right, well, tell me your predictions down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think is going to happen. Any stuff that I missed, please tell me. I want to go back. I want to, I want to notice everything about this trailer that I may have missed. So if I forgot to mention something off in the corner that's a massive piece of lore, let me know. But thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.